I want to talk about a real horror story. Okay. Real life, 100% fact. This is engineered human meat. But since we're on the topic of Halloween, I want to talk about a real horror story. Okay. Real life, 100% fact. I'm going to play this video. You're creeping me out now, man. What the fuck are we going to watch? Pretty scrub. But these days, you've got to spend a packet to bring home the bacon. And don't even get me started on the eggs. The cost of living crisis is hitting Britain hard, with food prices rising at the fastest rate in 40 years. But now, a new line of affordable protein is hitting our shelves. This is engineered human meat. That's right, a protein made from human cells that promises to be cheaper and tastier than any of its competitors. I'm Greg Wallace, and I'm off to visit Good Harvest, where a whopping six tons of human meat is engineered every day. That is stunning. With the promise of cheap meat for all, it may well be the meaty miracle we need to ease the squeeze of the cost of living. What the fuck, bro? Is this real? This is real, dude. Is this seriously real? I'm not. I like. I wish I was bullshitting you, but nah, it, it's for real. It doesn't even make any sense. Well, it's not America, so I guess they can get away with it, huh? Well, I'm saying it doesn't even make any sense. Is why would they go straight for human meat, and why not take cells from animals and recreate that instead of like? Because now, what is everybody a cannibal over there? Because it's the truth. Everybody's a cannibal now in the UK. That's that, that Allegedly, food. UK is on that yak, bro. They're on that human shit, bro. And not poop. Meat. Human meat. He was so excited to try that shit, too. Oh, that guy looked wild. That guy looked like the guy that played in Human Center. And the fact that they... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you seen that... Uh... <laughs> Have you seen the Key and Pill, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, "Yo, what's up, my boy? You were in the back." <laughs> he said you were in the back. Yo, human meat though, that's crazy. That is a little wild. Man. On the on the cowboy trail, do you think that's what they're snacking on? On the cowboy trail, I mean, honestly, I don't think so. I think they'll eat their horse before they eat their fucking. Maybe not. Maybe they'll eat the 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 man with them before they eat the cowboy. <laughs> I mean the horse. Oh my! They gotta get transportation. God. You know they, what I mean? They gotta get to and fro. Or maybe they're just like maybe, maybe the guy's like, "Hey, I'm gonna eat your horse, and you have to stay back." Damn! Just leave him. Maybe stranded. yeah, it's a duel. Mm. Anytime there's a situation like that, would you try it? Human meat? Yeah. If it's the last thing that we ever could eat? No, no, no. Like, would you try it? No. Like somebody no. was like, "Here, no. Here's a human meat no. burger. No. Try it. No." What if you ate no. a burger and it was fucking fire? No. That's burger season no. exactly how you like it. No, I think cannibalism is uh, actually illegal in the United States. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Dude, that's like, I guess it's chemically engineered. So I, I don't know if it's really. No, it is can cannibalism. That is human cells that you're eating. Human cells. That's crazy. It just makes no sense to me. None of that makes sense to me. Even the thought of it. If it was the last thing on earth that I had to eat, so I had to eat somebody else, that's one thing. But yeah, I don't know. That's 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 such a wild scenario. It's almost like the same scenario is. So if let's say your mom and mm -hmm. you got thrown off an airplane. Right. Everybody got thrown off an airplane, but you too. Were the only ones that survived because right. somehow you had a parachute and nobody else didn't. Right. Or uh, yeah. Nobody Whatever. else had one. Some somehow we survived. You survived. And your mom. Just kidding. Your dad got bit by a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. And you had to suck the poison out of his ass in order for him to survive. Would you do it? Fuck no, he's gonna die. This shit's unfortunate for cuz. You know what I'm saying though? Yeah. It's like so if you have two cowboys out yonder and a situation happens where it's like i'm hungry mm -hmm. i need to eat hungry if i don't eat need to eat i'm gonna die die might just have to eat your boy mm. and not up but you know oh. what's crazy is that like 
there was like a couple of stories like that where these people got um they got uh stranded in like okay. the cold somewhere, like off a plane, and they were like damn near freezing to death and shit. Yeah. But uh when some of them died, they would like have to eat them and cook them and shit, and it was fucked up. So. That's a wild situation, bro. Yeah, it ran out of food and shit. So when motherfuckers died, they were just like, Well, they would want us to eat them. So I believe that you would eat a person real quick. I think that you would be one of the first people that would eat somebody. It's funny as a uh, I think that if a situation happened where like people were like, the world's about to end and everybody starts rioting and stuff like that, you would just go find somebody to eat. That's fucked You up. would literally just go kick it in the door and find That's somebody. That's terrible that you think that of. I, I No, I truly do. I think that you eat humans wow. in your downtime that you think i eat allegedly in my, in my downtime allegedly i think for you think a hobby, i'm on some uh, jeffrey dahmer shit no i think it's a hobby i think it's um distinguished i think it's more of like an upper echelon um you are a um a human connoisseur <laughs> i'm sure all those lonely nights at sea you've eaten a couple people you had to do what you had to do you matey all right everybody thank you so much for watching the show, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all the good stuff that you do. We are so close, so close to 500, everybody. And your subscribes are definitely needed. If you're not subscribed right now, please go in and subscribe to Adults of Reality. <laughs>